Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm simply Mike, and this is the Thrills Definitive. Today we're going to discuss a review, but not of a yo-yo. Today we're going to discuss how Duncan finally stepped into the modern. So let me ask you, what do you think of when you think of Duncan? Arguably the biggest name in yo-yo. Remember, yo-yo is a performance art, similar in vain to juggling, unicycle, and hula hoop, or hooping for the professional. Peppered throughout the community has been various colorful characters. Astounding crowds with their tricks and their garish nature. Mimes, clowns, and exaggerated caricatures of humanity have all embraced the yo-yo. Now, I do not have a problem with this. These individuals have their place and they have entertained millions. This right here is actually very cool looking, especially because it's got the LEDs. But oftentimes, people see us like they see this person or this person. Now, attempts were made to make Yo-Yo cool, but the general population just doesn't see what you and I see in Yo-Yo. So they added fire. <laughs> now, Chinese Yo-Yo is a big thing, but it's part of gymnastics and an overall performance. But against this backdrop and this heritage is where Duncan finds itself. And their Yo-Yo's kind of reflected that. Or, better say it, Duncan entered a period of being dull. And although these yo-yos got the job done, they didn't make for an exciting choice. Can you picture somebody waiting feverishly by their computer for a Duncan to drop on the internet? Not really. Let's take this Metal Drifter for example. Standard with it came an A-size bearing which got the job done but left a little bit to be desired. And then we had these friction stickers, which is universally panned as mediocre. Now, when I first bought this thing, I didn't know enough to make an informed decision. I still liked it. But now we have a modern take on a classic with a standard C size bearing, silicone response, and a tapped axle, bringing this well into the modern age. Still playable for you and I. I can only guess as to why it took so long for Duncan to get into this. See, they're a worldwide company with a large footprint. And it wouldn't be wise for them to throw money at a fad, like finger spin yo-yos or stuff like that. But they have brought a lot of their yo-yos up to modern standards. Like the Grasshopper and this X version. The Haymaker X. The Windrunner in this beautiful colorway and the orbital and if you took the writing off no one would be offended if you mistook this for an SF Bliss recently the Raptor got a reissue and it too was brought up to modern standards I borrowed this from someone at club notice again C size bearing silicone response tapped axle I just recently reviewed The Murmur, and this thing plays as good as The Murmur. A little different, but this is a great yo-yo. Excellent. It is more expensive than the Metal Drifter, and it's worth it. You can tell the quality that went into this thing. Now, in all honesty, I'm not a big fan of undersized yo-yos. And this is undersized, a little bit smaller than the Murmur itself. But despite that, and despite the fact that I'm not that good of a player, this still is an excellent yo-yo. And you are safe buying from Duncan. Don't get me wrong, I'm not here to rag on Duncan. I'm very grateful for what they've done. They've updated their current lineup and brought in new models to move the conversation forward. And for that, I am eternally grateful and a little bit excited. 
But the question remains, will they continue to innovate? We can only hope for the best. So we'll see. And keep our eyes open. I think you'll enjoy the journey. Well, that's going to be it for me. But if I can feature one of your cool yo-yos in one of my videos, contact me at the information below and we can work out a situation. And next time, we're going to pit a yo-yo against its brother. Alrighty, until then, keep throwing and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.